Well, I see things are pretty lackluster in here. Where's Natalie? She's in the kitchen. You can see her from here. So she's alone then? Affirmative. Should we help her? No, this is a pretty common occurrence. There's nothing but a plethora of protein shakes and massive bulk powders in here. Well, I'm not averse to anyone wanting to look after their body. Well, I personally cannot stand the big superficial men that think muscles compensate for not having a grasp on current events. Yeah, they're Dexters. Dexters? <laughs> really? Yeah, he hates the news. And loves, uh, violence. Dexter never really struck me as a narcissistic type. You should probably try and get a refund on these because they're certainly a waste of money. I wouldn't go as far to say that he was being prodigal. Well, clearly he is. I mean, none of you guys really have the type of brawn that screams muscle shakes. Well, maybe not Dexter or Luke, but I think I, if I were to be taking them, wouldn't need restitution. The cupboard's ripe with them. There's enough product in here to bulk up Wyoming. Well, I think I've exhausted my need to be here. Probably to kick a puppy. He's always been truculent. Uh, hey, how much do you exercise? Exercise? You mean like physical exertion? Yeah, what's your regimen? I actually have a trainer. Really? <laughs> and here I thought you were a neophyte. So where do you go to work out? I don't leave the apartment. I do it all from here. Wow, so a personal assistant that comes to you. Well, that must leave you impecunious. Mira Andres made you again. So where did you find your trainer? Best Buy. Best Buy? I know. There was such a lineup for it, but I was camped out all night long. Some naive girls were showing up like an hour before opening. Like you're gonna get a wee fit with that level of commitment. And that's how you work out? I'll find a good car burn solitary every now and again. Yeah. Okay, let me offer you a word of advice here. If that's your idea of exercise, you should probably relinquish the powdered drinks altogether. That was churlish. Don't listen to the nefarious Lady Delicious Crystal Light. I still love you. So, what do you guys have planned for tonight? I didn't realize it was imperative that we have a plan. Well, if you didn't plan anything, then what are we going to do? Uh, Luke, why don't you dramatize one of your pieces for us? You told me earlier to abstain. Yeah, I'm capricious like that. Pieces? When do you perform? I specialize in dolorous odes. You're in for a treat. In certain circles, my work has been met with high acclaim. Now I only hope that you are all adequately prepared to have your minds blown. What's happening? Luke's performing one of his pieces for us. Sweet lord, no. Brian, do something. From where I'm sitting, the timing of this couldn't be more impeccable. <gasps> <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oops, I tripped. <laughs> that looks pretty premeditated to me. Now I have to change my shirt. Good idea. Brian and I will assist you. No, I'm cool. In that case, I think I'll stick around and tell the girls what that special shampoo was meant to ameliorate. All right, bedroom it is. I can't believe you managed to persuade me into doing this again. Well, I should have learned my lesson with the Mormons. They were congenial. They were looking for wives. <laughs> Your behavior is becoming a little too malevolent. I was just about to seal the deal with her. Which one? Like it matters, all right? Just so long as I beat you, which won't be hard considering your boorish behavior. I think huh. one of your puerile masterpieces about how corpses have more life than consumers is a little too gauche to keep the girls in the apartment. What are you saying? I'm saying we're so busy fighting amongst ourselves, we're alienating the girls. And just so you know, Luke, it wouldn't have been Natalie. She's into me. I never thought I would find myself wishing three guys would minimize the amount of attention they gave me. Uh, complain all you want, but it sure beats our prosaic Friday nights. I don't think they can sense my apathy. Maybe I'm not laying it on thick enough. It, it wouldn't kill you to be a little less blasé, okay? They're sweet. And obviously not used to having women around either. <sighs> yeah, I don't think they're coming back. So how do we come to a consensus on who gets the girls? We could wait and see if either of them are enticed by us. But then how do we decide who wins? It's not a competition. There's no test of gallantry here. <laughs> You're just saying that because you are losing. 
I happen to think both of them are very accessible. I'm not losing. I told Natalie that you're a belligerent meathead who downs powdered drinks in order to bulk up. So you convinced her that he's you? Mm hmm precisely. Is that what that was about? I mm -hmm. thought she was inveighing against Crystal Light. <laughs> that's preposterous. Dexter, nobody hates Crystal Light. Come it's, on. It's true, that stuff's delicious. They have a new flavor out. Really? How is it? It's sort of a fruity, tangy mix. It's a very savory taste. I'd give it an eight. Hmm. I'm starting to sense a trend here. Sure beats listening to their unintelligible jargon. Hey, Jen. I'm not sure. Is it safe to presume that we can bail? We're not doing anything that's stopping us from vacating. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can bail. About 15 minutes should be fine. Yeah. At this point, I think it's safe to say the damage is irreparable. So, where do we go from here? I'm content with the direction I'm heading in. Spiraling downwards. Isn't that the name of one of your requiems? Yeah, all right, guys, that's enough. We need to come to some sort of accord. How do you think we should salvage the night? I think that we should start by not hiding in the bedroom. We should cease our pugnacious behavior and just treat them like they're guys. What? Hey, hear me out. Let's not look at them as prizes, but just focus on having fun and conciliating them like we did with our other friends. What other friends? We're speaking hypothetically here, of course. Whoa, 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 what's, uh, what's going on? Oh, I just got a call from Jen. She's heading over to the apartment with some friends, so we thought we'd uh, go over there as well. Sorry to have to abbreviate the visit, though, guys. You're going to abscond? Oh, yeah, but, you know, give us a call sometime if you ever want to watch a movie or play some video games oh. or something. Okay. You know, it's always good to have some friends living in the same geographical expense. You guys play video games? Oh, Natalie's highly adept. She owns every system. Well, I think that went well. Sarcasm intended. For what it's worth, Brian, I'm repentant for telling Natalie you kicked a puppy. As long as you didn't make it sound like a habitual occurrence. Is that the landlord again to berate us? I don't even think an auger could have seen this coming. Nope. Hey. hey. Well, uh, Jen's friends aren't exactly too enthralling, so we thought we'd see if you maybe wanted to watch a movie with us. <sighs> I, yeah, we were just about to watch Ghostbusters. Oh, are you kidding? I love Ghostbusters. <laughs> After you left, I, I went and picked up some things, so now our cupboards are replete with snacks. Well, I'll definitely take you up on that offer, but first I have to annihilate Dexter at tennis. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, do it too well here. <laughs> 